Welcome back, everybody. I've got a pretty cool, uh, exciting unboxing and first look today. I ordered a ETQ everyday carry tourniquet from Snake Staff Systems. I got it in the mail today, ordered it about a week ago, and this is the packaging that it came in. Uh, kind of cool. They got their custom envelope here with the tourniquet on it and some of the features. They've also got a QR code that takes them to their video on, on how to use it. So when I ordered this a week ago, I was camping on their website uh, right when the tourniquet dropped. I've been trying to get one of these for several months and it, it was just out of stock, out of stock. I'd miss the drop by a day or you know, six, eight hours and they'd already be sold out. So I camped on their site, uh, ordered it right when they dropped and they had a shipping label to me within a couple hours. And uh, yeah, they, they got this to me very quick, which was, uh, which was exciting. Bust this open. So it comes with uh, a sticker here. That's cool. I like stickers. I'm a sticker guy. So uh, initial impressions on this. This is all hook and loop right here uh, for the strap. And uh, on their website, they say it's about one inch uh, strap. And on my measuring table here, it checks out right at one inch. So that's great. This buckle here is made out of uh, polymer, uh, spring-loaded uh, clip here. We've got a uh, appears to be polymer, fairly sturdy and uh, rigid, windless. Now the, the design and purpose of this is to have it as an everyday carry uh, solution for a tourniquet and to be prepared. Uh, compared to uh, other solutions, this is a lot more manageable and compact uh, is, is what they market. And from just playing around with it right now and uh, looking at it as it, as it came from uh, the factory, uh, from them, uh, I can see that it is very, uh, very compact uh, and very everyday carry friendly. Um, a couple things that I like about it, uh, I like how small it is, uh, It's it just feels extremely lightweight. Uh, I like, uh, yeah, I like how small and compact it is. Uh, I like the instructions they provide here on this, on this tab, they got the QR code uh, for how to use it, so that's nice if, if uh, somebody else has to use it that doesn't have training, uh, they can operate it. Uh, something I, I don't really like is this glow stick they have, which they sell replacements on their website for this, but it just kind of seems uh, impractical. Uh, maybe someplace uh, for something to snag on if, if, this, if this piece breaks. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to play around with this and, and test it out some and, and see uh, see my thoughts. Uh, this portion here seems just kind of small uh, to get this windlass in. It seems pretty tight to you know slap it in there and, and get it in. So I'm going to just try to fold it up real quick and compare it to some other tourniquets that, that, I, that I currently have. So here's a a SWAT SWAT T tourniquet, and you can see that similar length. Maybe the SWAT T is a little thinner. 
Uh, SWAT T is definitely wider in size. Also got a rat's tourniquet here, and I've just had challenges uh, trying to, you know, carry this and finding a manageable way to keep this wad together. And then, you know, this isn't uh, a very good tourniquet in general. So that's kind of those two side by side. And then this is a knockoff cat tourniquet. Uh, recon uh, made in China and you can see that I mean this is just this is just a, a kind of a behemoth uh, compared size wise and just feeling it in my hands weight wise this is significantly heavier uh, at least it feels like so uh, all in all I'm, I'm excited for for this product and uh, excited to see um, uh, see this product uh, used and, and see how it, how it holds up in the field. So let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think about uh, the Snake Staff ETQ. Uh, let me know what, what you guys would like, like me to do with it. Uh, if you'd like me to do a torture test to some of these, compared to some of these other tourniquets, thinking about that um, just gonna kinda play around with it and uh, further my my research on it and uh, figure out how it you know assimilates into my uh, EDC so uh, let me know what you guys think comment like subscribe and we will see you guys later